<laughs> you got a sixth grader's diet. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I could start. I'm frugal. A and P M. When I got my money for the week, and I was like, shoes by the end of the month or a good diet. Hey man, listen, oh. <laughs> listen. If you play it right, you can get both. Two for ninety nine cent. No, hey, no, 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 no. It's like a dollar fifty for both. I mean, it might be ninety nine for me because you know I got points. You got the hookup. I got points. Oh, so you get the I gas? You be like, hold on, I just filled up. No, they just they um, had just uh, hit me up with something. What is that? Boom, they got look, your new number? product alert, boom, right? Not filling the shelves at your go-to, boom, single bottles, right? Look, roll through. You see the hot dogs right there? They Are telling you on me to the pull board? up. Nah, I just got. I get, I get alerts for Seven Eleven. They tell you he gets alerts on his phone. Yeah, that's how I get all the points. You see, you see, you see the hot dog. You see the glizzy. So you be there on Slurpee Day? Hey, what? When you can fill it with anything? Yeah. Bro, I've taken so much wild shit to Seven Eleven. You Slurpee showed up Day. with the cooler. I've showed up with. A lamp that was like from the the Christmas story, the the leg lamp. I've I showed got up that. with one of them. I've showed up with an inflatable. <laughs> I've showed up with a cake batter bowl. I've showed up with so much shit. Yeah, bro. I get the alerts and straight to the phone, baby. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy to hit more, and we are back with another episode of Wording Is Harder, ladies and gentlemen. Let me let me tell you, it's very rare. You move out to LA, and you meet. Anyone, someone from one of the elitist family, you understand me? I don't even understand. Before we, what's the pressure like? That oh. last name that you carry, I can't imagine. If my last name was Rockefeller, I would I would just have a pseudo name because I couldn't tell people that was my last name. I can't imagine the pressure. I mean, you've lived up to it. Writer, yeah. producer, actor, relaunch of the family series. Yeah. You lived up to it, but... For people that are like, nigga, I just want to work at a bank. I'm cool with that. It's as much pressure as you put on yourself. Okay. I, I, like, I wanted to just have a happy life. Right. So I wasn't necessarily trying to break anybody's records, any goals. Mm -hmm. I may have set some along the way. Come on now. Uh, talk your shit. You know, a scary movie. Oh, okay. Uh, talk, talk, talk your shit, Craig. Got, you know, a couple shows in syndication, but uh, <laughs> it wasn't the journey that right. was necessary. It was more so I had peace and, and uh, joy in my regular life. So it wasn't like any pressure because I didn't have the, the turmoil they had mm -hmm. to get to where they had to get to. Yeah. And they were reaching for peace. So I found it earlier. So there you go. Pressure. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Craig Wayans on the motherfucking show. Make some noise. Bah, 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 bah. We're going to put that in pause. It's okay, gonna yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an air horn. It's, it's not. We don't ever put that air horn. But it's me. It's me. I was on the air horn. Bah, 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 bah. Are the lights going to flash and post too? Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was... I was I didn't even know that you were on Daddy Issues at first, and then I saw you on a couple episodes, and it was like, yo, we got the regular members. I was like, oh, shit, Craig. Oh, Man, we uh, we we go way, way back. We uh, we had a, a podcast called The Hot Nothing way back in the what I the remember funny that, days. but I never got a chance to get on that, but I do remember that one. Yeah, so we were doing that, and then that went left, mm -hmm. and uh, Keon and... Um, Tony, Tony re mm -hmm. they started their podcast, and they were like, hey, you know what? Let's get yeah. you guys together, and let's do it. So you're a dad, too? Yes. How many? I have four adults now. I feel great. I got a uh, college, college graduate with a master's. And Shit! Wait, wait! I got Hold a, the fuck up. The Black Frank, college. hold on. Man. Hold on. All right, listen. How many times has the FBI been to y'all house? Because y'all <laughs> not human. Y'all, you can't tell me you got a college graduate with a master's yes. and you look 33. Man. See, y'all just ain't gonna share the secret with the rest of the black community? Hey man, Dr. Sebi been telling everybody no, for man, years. No, man, fuck all of that. Nobody wanna say listen to, to Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi, Sebi says weed fixes everything. <laughs> I've tried weed. It don't fix everything. Cause uh -huh. I still got sleep apnea. <laughs> You ain't smoking strong enough. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Sebi said get Indica. You got a sativa. Indica leaves me in the cut, nigga. I can't be. I got too much word to be just chilling in the cut. See, you ain't trying to be. I be listen, I be trying to build my weed tolerance. I be like, mm, two puffs today. Next week, I'm doing three, right? It don't work. Nothing. Weed doesn't work. I can drink. I can drink people under the table. And I'm still a functional person, but I only drink like that, like that at home. I never get drunk like that in the public eye because I'm always about perception and, you know, people seeing As you, you like, yeah. yeah, people seeing you, like, oh, follow to the car type shit. And the only other thing that works for me like that, I can't say on camera, 
but uh-huh. we'll talk afterwards. But like, <laughs> no, 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 I can't, I I can't like, do hey, that. Hey, hey, no, no, not that. Much. But you go tell me Beth off camera. No, 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 no. You just, come on now. You see my smile. I'm missing a tooth, not broken off tooth. <laughs> I'm missing the quintessential uncle. You got me worried. You're like, yeah, I'll tell you about it. No, 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 no. no. But <laughs> we got we got ads to do, so I can't put it on. All right, got you, got you, got you, got you. I'm off. But um, yeah, man, I wish, I wish it worked for me like that. Cause the only time, it's only when one time where I smoked weed and it really made me chill and laugh and have a good time. But then when I tried to re up, like to keep the high going, it made me too high. And I was like, oh, gotta lay down. Oh, I started asking questions. Like when I turned uh, around 30, I started not being able to sleep. Really? Yeah, and I told my cousin, I was doing melatonin, I was doing the deep sleep. Yeah. And I told my cousin, he was like, man, hit this. Yes. And I was like, huh? Yes. I smoked it, and I got the best six hours of sleep I ever had, and I was like, hmm. But how are people smoking weed and being productive? I can I get the smoking weed and falling asleep. I did that last night. Me and the wife got home. Uh, we had a great night out. We did a comedy show. Shout out to Tip. Tip came up there, did his thing. We went home. Boom, I hit it two highs. That's all I need. Went upstairs. I, I did the cough. The cough always activates the weed for me. I do one, <laughs> and the weed be like, it starts going over my whole body. I feel my ears get out first. I'm like, oh, that bitch working. That bitch working. <laughs> By the time I got in the bed, my toesy woesies was doing this. I was like, we good. But staying productive. Like, one of my favorite rappers is Currency. Currency smokes all day. Mm-hmm. All day. How are you smoking <clears throat> all day and staying being productive? What weed is that? It keeps, well, if you're driven, you're driven. Mm-hmm. But uh, a lot of people with, uh, I'm not going to give any, like, People that have trouble focusing, yes. sometimes they smoke and you know how they say you sit down. Sometimes if you're focused, you stay focused on that one mm. thing and you accomplish it. Gotcha. So it locks you in. It kind of centers you. Okay. Somebody else literally just told me this yesterday because I was, it was crazy. I was having the same conversation. Like, I want to do it. But I it just makes me sleep. think of like 30 things at once and be trying to accomplish everything. And I do that on a daily basis. And then I smoked and I started knocking one thing out at a time. And I was like, wow. Before, I was building 30 little houses, and then I smoked and was like, oh, damn, got that. So I just need to, I need to go to a dispensary, buy six or seven different brands, and just see which one works for me over the course of a weekend. If you go to a good one, they'll sit down and talk you through each one. You don't have to try every one. Okay. Well, we, we're going to talk about this. All right. Uh. Listen, don't ever <laughs> let anybody tell you the Waynes as a conglomerate don't have all the answers. It's one of them that has something for everybody. Okay? We, boom. Okay? Movies, Keenan. You, you want an alternative lifestyle? Shante, she'll walk you through every goddamn thing you need to know. Her Shout dilly. out to Sarah. I'm, I, I was trying to get her today, but she had just got back from Vegas, and she left her fucking phone here while she was in Vegas. I'm so like, you just took the next Wayne's in line. You're like, what other way? Here's the got- thing. My <laughs> sister hit you up, because I was like, I want to, like, I never like to bombard somebody before I've established some type of working relationship with them. And we've talked in passing, but we never had a chance to sit down and rap. So I've never, like, want to bombard people like them. She was like, Craig Wayne's Man. coming at, at three. I was like, oh, okay, okay, Man. okay. Once, once, we, once we say what's up, yeah. I really take that. I just, you know, it's I know always. that what it's like, like I said, having that name and that acclaim, and I never want to be one of those people like, yes. so I always, like, I wanted to always come off genuine. Before I, I approach somebody with, you know, an axe. And so plus, you up, I'm up the street. That's one thing that they <laughs> did tell like, you. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, I'm right there. I got you. <laughs> I'm on my way to 7 Eleven. I'm stopped through Dr. Hey, out. listen, because I'm hitting that right after this and get two hot dogs for your boy. I don't need your judgment. I don't know where you're going to come the, with it, but. The, the laugh was on uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sevy, huh? <laughs> yeah. The weed balance is in it. <laughs> The weed at about New Balance, the I hot don't dog out. I think Dr. Sebi ever had a man, hot dog. Man, listen, <laughs> man, they didn't sell him over there where he was at. He had to come to the mainland to get the good hot dogs, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Well, listen, uh, it's five rounds. All right. Um, each round is a little different from the last. And then we got a bonus round, but I'll get more into that when we get closer to it. Okay. Maya's here to keep us on track and keep us moving along. She's going to let us know when we're correct. We are incredibly incorrect. I like the glasses. I you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's, that's, that's like, listen. Oh, okay. oh, that was on new. Because she used to have the, the bing bongs, right? Yeah. yeah now she got the bing bong. You see them dogs <laughs> in your front yard. I see what you're doing, Maya. The Swiss the and a new blouse. Okay. <laughs> Season three, bitch. I've been wearing this blouse for eight episodes now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I drink a lot. 
It's cool. I'm not even a homo. I like the energy. I like, hey, Big Bone. <laughs> I'm knocking at your door. I told you. We don't get hey, Byron. Hey. <laughs> what you want to say to Joe Biden? Take me to dinner, baby. You know what I'm saying? We finna get it going. Round one. Let go. Take from the top. Pronounce this word. A-S-C-E-T-I-C. Okay. A S. C E T I C. Aesthetic. Correct. Boom. Goddamn right it is. We was racing for that? No. No. Because I, I had it. <laughs> After I wrote it on the desk, I was like, can I say it? Can't steal. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to steal. I was like, there's a buzzer. <laughs> no. Steve. <laughs> Wrong show. Ah. Damn. All right. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Okay, here we go. Uh, use the sentence to figure out the meaning. The fashion forward twin could not relate to her aesthetic aesthetic sister. Um, this is someone that that you know sets the trends, is knows the trends, is able to keep up with the ins and outs of the the pop culture, if you will. Uh, very fashionable, okay. Uh, Maven, if you will. You know, someone that other people look up to when it comes to those things. Like, what's Maven mean? It's Maven is a trendsetter. It's just okay. like, like <laughs> in high school, the, the Mavens are the, you know, usually the bad kids or the okay. funny kids or the rich kids. Those okay. are the Mavens. No, no, it's the exact opposite. You said I think what it's now? unfashionable. You, you right? say, hold on, wait, you say, you say what now? It's yeah. the opposite of what yeah, you said. Yeah, because the sister was non, so it was if one I, was very fashionable said, and the other was unfashionable. I, I read that, that, I read that all wrong. I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I read that all wrong. I was in it. I was in the pocket. I was ready to steal. I yeah, like, oh. I, saw, I saw you. Was like, wait, what did he say? I was like, I was whammy, like, no so whammy. What did I say? Everything incorrect. That's what I said. Shit. It sounded good though. It did. Cause I I was all right. Uh, well, you know what is your time? I was like, well, what the I'll sister looked you know. like. Huh? I'll let you know. It's like a monk, a practice of strict self denial. Ascetic is that? That's what ascetic is. Ascetic. Oh, okay. It's you like losing thinking... your riches and wells and going back down to the fundamentals type thing. Minimalist? The minimal, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, no. All right. You might be thinking of aesthetic. I was. Okay, that's And I thought, different. I was like, man, I've been saying this, wrong, this word wrong the entire time. <laughs> it was not aesthetic. That is the aesthetic. word. It was aesthetic. aesthetic. All right. Yeah. Pronounce it correctly. Just got it wrong. I was with you, though. I mean, I, I put a lot of energy into being wrong. Okay, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm the that. reason they came up with the, the quote loud and wrong. They talking about me. <laughs> you know, I was about to say that. I was like, oh, I'm with you. Dang. So do you walk around, walk away with your head down? No, like, I'm proud. So yeah, I was wrong. Everything <laughs> is a teachable moment. There are no L's if you turn it into a lesson. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You don't feel no better though. I still feel like shit. <laughs> That was a teachable moment. That's what I, I tell myself, moment. though. Yeah, it's a teachable moment. There it is. That's what the whole show was about. Is my, let me let me get it. Let, let me get it. All right. Uh, pronounce this word. Mm -hmm. Spell it out for the people. J e r o b o a m. That's J e r o b o a m. You ready? Mm -hmm. Uh, I would think it's a uh, Jeroboam. No. Mm. Mm. Jeroboam. Jeroboam. Mm -hmm. The way you came at it, though, uh, it was okay, very confident. I thought, uh, you know, it was I steady. Was, I thought it was from the Greek word uh, Euro, the mm -hmm. Greek word. Yeah. <laughs> I have to break the words down sometimes. Frank, you know, you hungry? On my travel, the Euro. <laughs> <laughs> Euro bowl. Oh, the money, the money. I thought you were talking. No, like I was Euro. talking about the food. <laughs> I, you was right. I am hungry. It's about that time. It's about that it's time. It's a Euro bomb. Shit. I was gonna use it in a sentence Listen. too. Listen, yo, you been to that spot on Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard, the Greek spot? No way. The Euro is bomb. No, I, I was using, using it as a sentence. sentence. I was about to new one. I was like, see you uh, hungry Because my favorite place shut down. They were on Fairfax, right there by uh, all the shoe yeah. spots. It right was on like Fairfax. Um, the best Euro shop in LA, I think it was called. Yeah. Oh my God. The hummus that they had. I like the spicy sauce they had there. Oh, see, I never Across the street from Fairfax High, right? Yes. Yeah, I know yes. What you're uh, it was like the best Euro, or best pita spot. That's sure. what it was. The best pita spot in LA or something like that. When I tell you the best sauces, the tzatziki sauce, man. the hummus was fire. Yes. The green sauce was mm -hmm. fire. Oh, man. You don't have the burp, though. 
Them goddamn burps gonna happen. Oh, for sure, but within an hour and a half, you uh, I call them pleasant that? memories. You're like, mm. Until mm. you go around and do one in your mask. I mean, this was before the mask, but you uh, do one in your mask. You be like, fuck that place. <laughs> that place hurt my feelings when they closed, bro. Uh, anyway, I didn't even know it closed. I'm staying mm -hmm. home too much now. Mm -hmm. Let's go, man. Let's go. Flip the right. card. There Flip we go. Flip the card, okay. Use this sentence to figure out the meaning. To hear we got you that Jeroboam as a joke. We didn't expect you to drink the whole thing. Or you uh -huh. should put a cup around it. <laughs> <laughs> I pronounced it right, Jeroboam? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that... It is a drink. Really? That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what the doctor reads. Yeah, I, I would right think now. it was a, <laughs> a drink of sorts. And uh, yeah, the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> we didn't expect you to drink it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to break it down that way. Come on. All right. So it's a, I would have to say it's an alcoholic drink. I can't give it to you. You have to be much more specific than that. Oh, man. A tall alcoholic beverage. Oh, okay. A Michelob. Right, uh, a St. Ives. You keep of, going at this rate, you are going to be day. disinvited from the family picnic. What? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show this to somebody. <laughs> you what do you no. like to drink? It's a, it's a jambo. No. Don't ask me what I like to drink. It's like the horn filled with liquor. Uh, um. That's. A, I, I'm pretty sure they call that mead when they used to put it in the horn. And it's called what? That was mead, wasn't it, Tony? A cow? Wasn't that me back in them days? Okay, we'll take two wrongs. We'll take two wrongs on that. We'll take two wrongs. All right. Thanks for thanks for being there for me and sitting there. Mm -mm. Sitting uh, there. That ain't my point. Them, them all your missed points like that. Did you say no? It's no. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's I had to check. It's a three-liter bottle of wine. A three-liter bottle of wine? Is that a tall beverage? A jumbo bottle of wine. I had to no, say wine. made that shit like that. I you said malt liquor. Yeah, that's that one's in a, a Euro Walmart. So you can only get that one from the Euro Walmart. Oh. Yeah. That, that sounds like a lot of a lot of wine. Yeah. I'll be lying. It's like a big gulp of wine. If I was at a big gulp of wine, it would have been like, yeah. That's it's, uh, yeah. Four yeah. four bottles of wine. Four regular bottles. Oh, it was getting lit. You tape it together, you put a straw in each one, then you tape the straws together. <laughs> that was like the first Vegas thing, but yeah. back then. Yeah, back. yeah, back there. Back there. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. You, you wore it around your yeah. Well, no, nah, it just had a lane, but the lane was made out of twine. Oh. Yeah. Man. Went on a high school trip. All that in the toga. <laughs> just keep going. It's just, it keeps getting more and more ridiculous, and neither one of us will stop. I'm not gonna stop. You know, a high me. school trip. I was with you. Like, man, take that. Take that. Hey, real quick. Do we go as hard for ourselves as we do for other people? Because, like, if we promise somebody we're going to do something, of course, our name's on the line, but we go the extra mile, especially if we like that person. You know, like, we really rock with that person. Oh, man, we go above and beyond. But do you go that hard for yourself? I always wondered that. And I really wondered that because we have to make excuses sometimes, I feel like, to go to therapy. And I just, I don't understand why. Like, why does something bad have to happen for you to go to therapy? If you see that you need to talk to somebody or you feel like you need to talk to somebody, why don't we just do that without any guilt, without feeling like there's any stigma around it? Well, I'm promoting it, okay? I've been rocking with Better Health for a couple of years now, and I've been telling all of my friends that watch the podcast and don't to do it, okay? Don't wait until something is wrong. This month, Better Health is encouraging everyone to like really take self-care as a priority. Make sure you're okay. You're no good to anybody else until you make sure you're okay. So, I want you guys to do it. Like, if there's nothing wrong, perfect. This is a great time to do it. If there's something wrong, perfect. This is a great time to do it. There's no bad time to take your mental health seriously. There's no bad time to do a mental check-in with yourself and an unbiased professional. That's always the perfect time for that. So, I'm encouraging all of you all right now. Go to betterhelp.com slash wording and receive 10% off your first month. You heard right, 10% off. We're giving you a discount to look out for you. 10% off your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash wording. Let me tell you something. You can get matched with a licensed professional in under 48 hours. Nobody is doing that. No, I promise you, I've been to traditional offline therapy. That never happens. And that little time, oh no, you'll never see it. I was, I was with 
three different therapists before I found one that matched with me and what I needed with my needs. So I know how important that is. That's why I always share that tad bit or that tidbit because it's important and you need to know it. You also need to know, go to betterhelp.com slash wording to get 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash wording to get 10% off your first month. You all to yourself. Round two. Let's get it. What is the cor correct use of the phrase? A, the negotiations were a give and take, but neither party left unhappy. B, the negotiations were a give or a take, but neither party left unhappy. I'm sorry, they both said unhappy. Um, and in this, the word in question is and for A or or for B. Negotiations were a give and take. Negotiations were a give or take. And neither party left unhappy. Give or take. Give and take. Give or take. You be I'm negotiating a, all the time. I know you know this one. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, myself. <laughs> like, do I want to eat this spicy food? I do, but I don't want this spicy poop. Give or take it. Or yeah, give and take it. Take a, I'm going to go with B. Food. I think it's give or take. That is incorrect in this God. sentence. Damn it. That is what? Incorrect what? In this sentence, that is not correct. I don't get that. I was with I you. I felt give or take in my soul. Like I, I felt that one. You take it or leave it. Like right, give like you are, are you, you, you going to give or you going to take that one? Because if you give and take it, it's like, it's kind of like. negotiate. Mm. It's give and take. Oh, okay. How I'm would not you the, use I, He got it take. wrong, so I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> How would you use give or take in the sentence? All right, I would say it like, uh, I'm going to slide down there around three, give or take how traffic is. Okay, yeah. That's how you use give or take. Correct. Oh. Man. I thought, so the, the correct use of the phrase is give and take? It depends on the sentence. Give or take is a phrase, but in this sentence, for negotiations, give and take, you gave oh, and you took. I didn't know it was doing the fucking flip and flop. The other, way wasn't, the other way wasn't a negotiation. Right, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that both phrases could be right. In most cases, it's usually one that you give us, right? In most of these cases? What dictionary yeah. is this from? This unabridged or this uh <laughs> <laughs> I needed to know all of that. I needed to know I, I, I from now I need some sources on the bottom of these index cards. I feel like y'all are just pulling this out y'all ass. Is this, this Webster's point. or Merriam's? Yeah, this yeah, I need to know that type of stuff at this point. Google. You know, this oh, is, oh, that's Google. Google. It makes okay. sense as a sentence. All right. yeah. You know, because I know Merriam. Yeah, <laughs> I know Merriam. <laughs> mm. Are they Merriam Webster the same person? <laughs> I think it is the same thing, but bless your heart. <laughs> it came back right like, wait. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, let me get to this. This is the next one. That's it? Mm -hmm. All right. What is the correct use of the phrase, A, it seemed like she was putting on airs for the camera, mm. or B, it seemed like she was putting on airs for the, cam for the camera. The first airs is spelled H-E-I-R-S, and the second is spelled A-I-R-S. I've heard this before. I would not know Okay. what the fuck to think. I, I'm, I'm going to go with A. A, no. It's yeah. A, B, I was going to say. I was going to go with uh, uh, A, B. <laughs> oh, no? Okay. Shit, I have never <laughs> had such secondhand embarrassment for somebody, and I don't even know why. <laughs> I, he got, I, had I, a good I don't know why. I was going to be like, I think it was because you turned around with it. It's like, I'm going to go with A. And she was a. like, no. You was like, I mean, a B. <laughs> I was going to say a letter B. Airs. So, you know, I meant like royalty. Like she put on her royal right. airs of She's what? Not gonna I, change it. I'm going to have to understand. Okay. So, what does the phrase mean? Okay. It seemed like she was putting on airs for the camera. Ah. Uh, ooh. Might as well as you sound dumb with it, huh? I mean, just I don't go, balls to, to the right? wall, bro. Air, she's like, she's, uh... Putting on airheads. She, <laughs> she was just throwing them all her shoulders. She was throwing on her Air Force Ones. Okay. Um, Black ones? No, all white. Oh, wow. Give me two she, per. Give she me just... two per. Uh, I think it means her airs is like, uh... Feeling like uppity or something? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. see? I knew I stumbled into it. I knew it. I knew it, knew it, knew it. 
Hey, I got one, right? There you go. I, I, I mean, you have a great start. I, I got one, right? I just, just told y'all. I've heard girl. the thing. I did not know which one it would be. I figured it was like an arrogance thing or full of hot air or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was an arrogance thing because of royalty, like airs that way, not mm-hmm. the AIR. Mm-hmm. That, that, mm-hmm. that threw me off. Right. <clears throat> Find the odd man out. Two of these words are synonym- synonyms. One is shit. We might as well just keep it. Y'all know what the fuck it is. Synonyms. Synonyms. Synonyms is it's a it's a new breath mint. Okay. And all the pieces look like each other, but they're flavored cinnamon. So it's called synonyms. 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 I thought that was your stripper name. That, that would be a good stripper name Simmerman. for him. That was... I gave Keon his stripper name. That's going to be your new... When you see him in them streets, mm-hmm. that's Simmerman. That's, that, wasn't, that was unnecessary. Simmerman. <laughs> oh, we kept it, we, we spelling this just that way. We're not gonna, we're not Simmerman. Gonna, we're not going to spell it that way either. We're just gonna, I'm gonna just read it. It's Keon Sweet Balls, and you are Simmerman. Nickname. Sweetballs? Yeah, you, you can talk to him about it later. I don't take. I, I don't. Never I ain't got nothing involved with. I don't it's just something that happened on the show. I'm gonna tell you what. We talk tell you about. what. We're not never gonna talk about it. I he, might delete his number oh, at this point. No, you brought it on him. It's, it was. He was supposed uh, to go on tour with me this year. Mm. That ain't happened. I ain't taking no name. Oh man. Sweet balls on my tour. Uh, nope. Even can't trust they, him. Even if they chant it when nope, he comes. That sounds like he gonna put cocaine in balls <laughs> while we traveling. Not going for that. Sorry, Kia. I watched the kids. I hate the odd man uh, out. Two of these <laughs> words are synonyms. Hmm? Mm. One is the opposite. What is the odd man out? A, satchel. Is that satchel? Mm-hmm. Satchel. Okay. B, minion. And C, big wig. Uh-huh. Um, satchel. All right, so minion is, you know, followers, little people, they do what you tell them to do. Big wig is the, you know, they call it a so- the shots. A satchel, though. I don't know what the fuck a satchel is. I, I know thought what he a was satchel a baseball player. is. That's huh? a baseball player. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Satchmo. That's Satchmo, though, right? Satchmo. I thought it was, was Satchel. Okay. And then, uh, you probably right. And then Goldman Sachs, but it's not Goldman Satchel. Mm. So, I don't know if Satchel is a synonym of a minion or a big wig. I'm going to have to go with... Uh, B is the odd man out. That is correct to hear. Okay. What was B? B was minion. Satchel okay. just says, it didn't say, it sounded like too prestigious of a word to call someone that you consider low. Beneath, beneath yeah. you. You know what I mean? Use two of the words listed in the census about your opponent. Hmm. Is this like a diss segment? Like, <laughs> it doesn't have uh, to be. He can say something nice. <laughs> It's the best like the I eight mile the, segment. I understand the use of the word. <laughs> Do I get a reply? Like, <laughs> you get a retort usually. You usually you get a retort. Call, uh, oh, your turn. You get a retort. Um, <laughs> um, never one to make people feel like minions. Craig has been always inviting to make everyone feel like big wigs. Very good. Correct. See? Mm. Big you up. That's why you. That's why you in charge, man. Bro, well, I'm, when we leave I, here, you know what I'm saying? Two hot dogs on me. 7-Eleven. <laughs> we're gonna get some relish. We're gonna get some deli mustard on that bitch. Man, you know what I'm saying? We get nah. personal pickles. You know what I'm saying? They got the little bag of pickles. Rip them bitches up. Pop, pop, pop. Put them on the side. I'll treat. Mm-hmm. We'll get a, uh, delicious dogs. Mm-hmm. And we'll get uh, delicious dog made like a like a, y- a gyro. No, 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 trust me. They have the hummus, Listen, the, no, no, you don't want that. the you don't cucumber, want, you don't the tomato. This right here. Get this 7-Eleven dog, and then we're going to take two Tums, right? Then Mountain Dew. And Mountain We're going to best sleep of your life. You're welcome. All right, I'll try it. The flavored Mountain Dew? No, just regular. You had the gingerbread Mountain Dew? The, wait, you said mm-hmm. one of them? Mm-hmm. No? Nope. Yeah. Nope. You that's planned the devil. this to be played. That is, that is the devil. Mm-mm. Nope. Yeah. Go ahead and read your card, because you don't. All right. <laughs> playing the wrong game now. Don't, don't play with Mountain Dew. All right. Find the odd man out. Two of these words are synonyms. Mm-hmm. One is the opposite. Mm-hmm. What is the odd man out? A, minch. Mm-hmm. 
B, Paragon. C, Cur. Cur. Yes. Cur. Ooh. Okay. I, I, I don't recognize any of those words. I recognize Minch. Uh. And then cheese. That's a, and that's a sandwich place, huh? And I thought Paragon oh, nice was Paradigm, so I damn sure don't know well, Paragon. That's a, that's a different one. Mm. That's different a different word. Yeah. And cur. You know what? I'm going to go with B. Paragon is the odd man out. No. It's never going to be. If I had B, you're never going to have B. She's they not going she to do it like that. Mm. I got what you was. I binged saying. all night, too. I thought I had. You, you didn't even have to do that. Mm. You really can't prepare for this. It's more of like a. <laughs> Like I already retained knowledge. I was like hoping, mm-hmm. you know, y'all no, would come yeah, across two or three of the same like, answers. Oh, that's, yeah. It's been going on for no, a little bit. They really don't be doing it like mm-hmm. that. She's pretty, she's pretty on the point. She Can I get the definitions of all these words real quick? <laughs> a mensch is like a really cool guy, an upstanding guy, like a hero, mm-hmm. a paragon is also like the example of something great so also like a hero Mm -hmm. and a cur is like a rogue or like a criminal Mm. a really bad dude it's a car down south a cur Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) this ain't daddy jokes jokes. (laughs) i'm ready for that one i'm ready for that one Let me tell you how much of a dad Craig is. He called it daddy jokes, not dad jokes. No, it's like, daddy. Like daddy jokes. It's respect, <laughs> daddy. Uh, my grandparents from the south. It's daddy. This ain't daddy jokes. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Even with the definition, uh, use the two words listed in a sentence about your opponent. Mm. Okay. Uh, This Minchie player over here. <laughs> Y'all don't even know all this the uh, stretches he goes through mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. put people in a paragon position and make it happen. That is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think she's gonna give you that point, but I, I saw what you were trying to do. Paragon position. Yeah, see, I, I got her. I check. mean, you I know what I'm saying? I want you to win it. It's a man, you know. I saw what you was trying to do. It was like a rap verse. You gotta put you gotta put your it's like doing the fresh prince of bel air over. Uh-huh. That was my new This is the new no Bel Air. Yeah. I just I'm just telling you what I'm saying. My mention your boy over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Some bitch here, my old boy. This bitch you playing right here. <laughs> Big Meech. Mm-hmm. Over here. Big Meech. Big Meech. You know. <laughs> Uh, that was that, that was that sounded good. Big Minch? Mm-hmm. No, right, Mench. Mench, yeah, yeah. You can call him a Mench. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And a paragon position is not the right use. Paragon, paragon. position. Mm. I wanted you to win it, but I also needed that that point so you not to get it, so I could. Well, does that put me. you up? Well, not not the fact that you didn't get like I don't get your point, but like that helps me in the long run. That's less what I'm here I for, man. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> You're a real mensch. Yes, you know. Solid as, solid as a rock. on Paragon. Dr. Doctor, pronounce this professional title. O-R-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. Again, or O-R-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. Hmm. Urologist. Correct. I see the fuck going on around here. I see you. An urologist is, where it hurts. is a doctor of what? A, mountains. B, sleep. Or C, emotions. Mm. Or. So, or. Change the pitch. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I am at a loss, so I'm just going to go with. <clears throat> no. Emotions would be. See, sleep is usually connected with the neurologist because sleep contains everything mm-hmm. going on with the brain, the bonds, all of that. Mountains, I don't know, but emotions, I feel like that would be more like with a psychiatrist or a, psych- a psychiatrist or a therapist or a psychologist because all of that deals with the psyche, right? Mm-hmm. If you're depressed or something. Yeah. So based on that alone, I'm going to have to go mountains. Correct. Process of motherfucking elimination. That's what we out here doing. You sure? Eliminating the competition. You sure? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Because I go to every... I go to all these other doctors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never referred to my therapist as an urologist, okay? Or my neurologist, all right? Because that's what the CPAP is. The CPAP, they like, make me go to the neurologist. Cheating. I know, I He's know. Like, Hold on, I know this doctor. I go to these niggas. <laughs> I know who I write checks to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, Dr. Thomas. I never had to spell oral. Mm -hmm. oral. Hello, Dr. Dazier. Hello. <laughs> All right, that, that was a good. One. All right, let me see what I got there. All right, uh, cryptology. Okay. Wait, that. There you go. Doctor, doctor, pronounce this professional title. C R Y, P T O, L O G I S T. Mm -hmm. That would be a cryptologist. Correct. Flip that over. <laughs> Don't look nervous now. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just waiting. I'm yeah. just waiting for you to say, this is Snoop Dogg's spiritual advisor. <laughs> <laughs> so I can go ahead and take it for the win. He diagnosed his cripping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm waiting on. A cryptologist <laughs> is a doctor of what? A, gangs. B, codes. C, death. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with C. No! It's codes. Codes? Oh, crypto. Ah, uh, good one. Gonna take that home with me. Ah, gonna put some more money in Bitcoin, too. <laughs> Dang. Hmm. That's hey, a bad o one. <laughs> o Odell Beckham really took his paycheck in crypto? I believe he took a portion of it in crypto. Okay, so like, Part of his his payment was like thirty seven thousand dollars based on that part that he took in crypto, like after everything and after it failed, it was like thirty seven forty seven thousand dollars something like that. No, I think that was a joke. Nah, it, no, no, he it, got paid. Bitcoin it's, hasn't dropped that much. Where his I, I, don't, I had read something. I oh. still don't understand crypto, so I could have been way over my head. But oh, yeah. when they had broken down in an article I read, it was like he was getting paid the equivalent of forty seven thousand dollars. Ooh. That I sounds, hope it ain't true. That sounds hurtful, but it, uh, it very much is disrespectful. As what Bitcoin would have had to drop tremendously. Uh, mm. I hope not for the people that are investing. I hope it continues to work out. I, I got a I couch was, for you, Odell. I will, I will <laughs> Let me continue. rock the ring sometime. <laughs> <laughs> got you, bro. So everybody on the team gets a ring, right? Yeah. The even the water boys. Uh, is it just damn. not as lavish? Are they on the team? I thought they. I think they Everybody Dude, gets rings. Because the cheerleaders don't get rings. Oh, they're, not, they're not really on the team. The water boy? Really? I don't think the cheerleaders that are on the team. That no, is sexist. That is a little sexist. I don't think they are on the team. That is they wrong. Are part of, no, they are part of the um, the franchise, but they're not on the team. The water boys are there with them doing practice and everything. I think the cheerleaders might practice at a different time and everything, but the mm -hmm. water boys... The, the the athletics manager or the, 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 the people that do the uniform, you know, going out, I think all of them out there. But the cheerleaders represent the team more than the water boys. You, you think the people pay that much money for the, the tickets because of the cheerleaders? More so than the water boys. The water boys make sure the players are hydrated so they can go out there and win the game. The cheerleaders entertain the crowd you, while you the no, players take a nothing. breather and a break. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Or else they'll get like, restless sport, out sports there. Sports Center does that. Sports Center ESPN is not at the that. game. The referees do that. They're not at the game. People making announcements do that. What about Cheryl Hudson? The beer man, that, the beer man does that. Cheryl Hudson that you know, dedicated that. her life to cheerleading. You are not going to tell me that the cheerleaders are that in instrumental that they deserve to be... I forgot my point. Dallas, <laughs> Dallas Cowgirls, <laughs> Raiderettes. Come on are now. They really the They're a staple in... Are they really called the Raiderettes? Yes. I didn't know that. They're a staple in football. Hold on. Are they really called the Raiderettes and there's an NFL team called the Raiders? You are acting like, uh, uh, duh. let me find this took, word. It's too long. Okay. Smell the word that Mike gives you. <laughs> to hear. Yes. Your word is liaison. Oh. 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 Liaison? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice word. Can't use it in the sense. <laughs> no, I know what it means. Uh, L I A. S-I-O-N. 
you left out one I, L I A I S O N. Mm. You put it. I, you I put, put it in, in the wrong place. place. Yeah. Yep. That's what I did. Mm, I was there with you. He gonna have to use that in the sentence, huh? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. He's gonna figure out how. how he's gonna figure out what it means. Ooh. I know what a li liaison is. Uh, the executive uses the sentence to find out what what it means. The executive assistant works in close liaison with the lawyer's office. Um, so, typically, from my experience, the liaison is someone that helps guide you through something, right? Like, like um, Take if you are um, on a resort and you meet somebody that's been there a couple of times, like, yeah, I'll be a liaison. I'll show you the lay of the land. I, you know, help you go the right way, make better decisions, or, you know, just make it easier for you to, you know, find your way through here. Mm -hmm. Get your footing, if you will. Go to that person for information or advice. And that person is? Liaison. Liaison. Correct. I thought it had to do with cheating. Oh, not. Let me go to, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll flip it. Spell the word. Your word, Craig. <laughs> is pasteurized. Oh, pasteurized. Okay, that is P A S T Ooh. U E R I Z E. You flipped the U and the E. P A S T E U R I Z E D. We was right there. Right there. They were the same name as me. I was right there. No, no, it's not letters the same. Letters were that. No, we, we are letters. not the same. They were basically the same. Basically twins. If you do this, we look exactly the same. Kind of. Yeah. If I put a scully on right now, the motherfuckers would know. They would know who was who fuck. Which one was Greg? Where'd he go? Is this how you beat people? The flip, the flip flop. Did you, the flip -flop. you comfort me? I did. I did. Then I would go to your house, right? And I'd be like, hey, cousin. They'd be like, hey, this is the secret to staying and looking young. And I'd be like, yes. Now meet me at AM PM for some hot dogs. Look like imposter. I would never go to AM PM for hot dogs. AM PM is for the burgers. 7 Eleven is for the hot dogs, my boy. I still gotta flip it. Oh. Still gotta flip uh, it. Use the sentence to find out what it means. He cannot digest milk that has not been pasteurized. Mm -hmm. uh, pasteurization, I have to give you the de mm -hmm. definition. That's when they heat the milk to kill off the bacteria? Correct. I got some smarts. <laughs> Don't look away when I'm right. <laughs> you give me, give me that eye contact of the rightness. <laughs> oh. We got the bonus round. Oh, okay. This is it. This is the final round. Maya's going to give us a card each. You just pull one, whichever one you're choosing. When you pull it, just put it face down. Just pull it and put it straight face down. And I'm going to take the one that's left. I'm going to read the instructions, and I'm going to tell you the instructions, and then we're going to get it going. All right. All right. So this one says, uh -huh. read this bit of James Baldwin, this bit of a James Baldwin poem. Oh, you might be able to win. You have 10 seconds. So I have 10 seconds to read this correctly. Mm -hmm. If I read it correctly in 10 seconds or less, I get double points. Do you have to do a James Baldwin voice? I don't. Thank mm. you. If I just Not read it correctly, but it's over 10 seconds, I only get half credit. And if I read it incorrectly, but I do that in 10 seconds or less, then I only get half point too. So you can get double points, but you can still get points if you either go over or you do it incorrectly. All right? So, I believe in you. Thank you, brother. I believe in uh, you, too. Here we go, Mike. And three, two, one. The lady is a wonder, daughter of the thunder, smashing cages, legislating rages with the voice of ages singing us through. Yes and yes. Mm. <clears throat> that was good. Thank you. No, that was for James Baldwin. That was good. That was good. It's a good piece of writing there, brother. Appreciate you. He wrote it about Lena Horn. He wrote right. that about Lena Horn? Mm -hmm. Both Lady Lena. 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 <laughs> Red Fox's dream girl. <laughs> Lady Lena. All right, whenever uh, you're ready, just count down for three and then she's going to get you going. <clears throat> Read this bit. I, I gotta read that part. Read this bit of a James Baldwin poem. You have 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And go. The lady is a sight, a might, a light. The lady devastated an alley or two, reverberated through that valley which leads to me and you. Yes and yes. You got that on the 10 seconds? 
That shit felt like 32 seconds. It just had emotion. I, I hear it you. just had, I mean, had emotion. Range. You had a little range. I'm just saying. Just felt, it the felt lady like is a, a sight, a, a might, a light. It, just, it felt like 26 minutes is all I'm saying. You know, it felt like a novel. I mean, it was it was it was kind of lengthy. It was kind of wordy. It was in my wordy. wording, all right. Stylistics I'm just, I'm, and linguistics. I'm just saying, if you ask me, it just seemed a little that I peripherated. <laughs> you got the one word. What's the one? Re- reverberated. <laughs> reverberated. I was like, I would. You just like with it reverberated. I thought I didn't. I thought that one was gonna <laughs> slip you up. You went over that one like a champ. I was like, goddamn. I just had to say reverberated. Damn it. I'm just gonna get that. Reverberated. You like right. Craig ain't gonna get reverberated. I really feel like that was longer than ten seconds. I ain't gonna call a, a good cup, but hey, y'all read. Go back. Look at the time. Nine thirty-four. Oh, ten seconds. Ah, uh, crunch time. I should have held the hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. Maya, what are we looking like on the score? Well, congratulations to here. You won. Oh. Ninety to fifty. Hey man, it's kind of a blowout. Why after you had my head, you said that. I mean when you said it, it just stopped was, right there. Gonna, gonna but I didn't squeeze though. Like if it was like I was like, yeah, you I was like congrats. Yeah, yeah, it's doubled you score. <laughs> Dang, I could Not up. quite almost, but I mean, you know, we're not neither here or there. That's neither for the here cheerleaders there. out you know there. What I'm saying? Them pendants rocking nah, with pride. Get y'all some rings. We gotta get we gotta get the ladies. There's a lot of cheerleaders on the team though. How many cheerleaders be? A lot. Depends it's on a lot, the team, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can see why they were like, ah, we got we to scale back. Yeah, now the dude. These that rings has, gonna cut it to the budget for next season. The dude on them chairs that climbs up to the top, he shouldn't get a ring. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's on every game. You see the old dude that stacks the chairs against the top. He does not need a ring. All right, well, man, listen, thank you for stopping by. Thanks I hope you had a nice you. time with us, man. We're we'll trying to make time. it as fun as possible. Learn something. Hey, man, have you ever seen uh, you ever seen the full episode to the end? Yeah. Okay, quick. You want to go ahead and tell the people no. what you got? What, what you mean? I didn't watch it all the way to that end. Oh, well, you want to tell the people what you got coming up and the, where they can find you at? Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Working This Hard. <laughs> I'm your host, Tim Moore. We'll see you next week. We can always tell who doesn't watch. We do it every time. I was like, I cut it off thing? right when he gets it. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> they done. He won. We'll put bye. all the information <laughs> in the description, though. <laughs> like, he won. All right, bye. <laughs> Oh!